Hi everybody, my name is Keith and I'm a designer over here at Torch. Yesterday I updated a blog post that I wrote on how to use sketch assets in Torch with a video uh, that kind of shows how easy it is to do that using AirDrop. I wanted to create a similar video for using cloud storage like iCloud or Google Drive and Dropbox, but there's a little added complexity, so I thought it better to do a video walkthrough with my nasally voice and accompaniment. Right, so the first thing you gotta do is we're gonna open up Sketch. And here we've got the uh, demo app that we created, which is a meditation app. Uh, we've got some screens here that we might have used in a uh, mobile prototype. I've just isolated these screens over here so we can focus on what we're doing and not the other things. Well, obviously the first thing we need to do is export these. So I'm just going to select all of these layers here. And I'm going to make sure that I have uh, both 2 and 3x presets uh, defined in my export panel. And because I'm going to export these to a cloud location, uh, I need to make a folder for it. I use iCloud, so I tend to like to just go to my desktop and I make a folder here. I'm just going to call this sketch to torch. Now, if you're using something like Google Drive, OneDrive, or Dropbox, you're going to do the same thing there. You'll just make a folder, and once you get the assets into the folder, the process of getting them into Torch is completely the same. So, for all intents and purposes, what I'm doing here on my desktop with iCloud is going to work for any cloud provider you use. All right? So let's go back to Sketch, and I'm going to, once again, oops, I deselected those. I'll select them again. Export selected. I'm going to go to my desktop. I'm going to jump right into this folder and I'm going to export them. Now let's go back to Finder and make sure that they're all there. There they are. Great. Now that we're here, everything gets very easy. We're just going to jump over to Torch, pull our assets in, and we'll be ready to start using them. Let's switch over. Okay, I've jumped over to my iPad, and I've already got the Torch app running. So now I want to get those sketch assets I exported to my desktop into Torch. To do that, I'm going to start by tapping the object drawer. Once the object drawer opens, I can look at these options down at the bottom, and I see this one on the far right called Browse. I'm going to tap that. That's going to bring up the iOS folder. Now, one of the things that can happen that's funky is that sometimes this can pop up and begin on Recents. And the problem with that is that you don't see any of the locations like Google Drive or, or your cloud locations that you might want. So you're definitely going to want to make sure you tap Browse in the lower right corner here. Make sure it's on Browse, and you're going to start out by seeing your default, what's on your in your iCloud drive. But if you have something else, like Google Drive or Dropbox, you can tap Locations here in the upper corner, and you can choose them from this list. If you don't see them in the list, you can choose More Locations, and you'll see that you can enable Dropbox, OneDrive, or any other cloud service that you have here. But as we know, I'm using iCloud, so I'm just going to tap iCloud, and I save that to my desktop. And you can see here, there's the folder. The one limitation about using a uh, cloud service as opposed to AirDrop, uh, which goes to your folder role, is that you can only pick one asset at a time, which is kind of cumbersome if you have a lot, but it also uh, has some other benefits like folder structure, um, the preservation of opacity and transparent layers is much better than with AirDrop. So I, I prefer, I pretty much always use cloud. Um, but anyway, let's take this, let's start with this one uh, meditation app panel. I'm just going to tap that. And we'll see it enters into uh, my this project, which is down here in the lower left. As it's uploading, you'll get a little status. Processing just means that we're making the file ready. And then it will download to your device. And from there, you can drag it directly into your scene, and you see that it's just already ready to be used. And for each other item that you want to import, you just have to go back to Browse, choose your next item, and import that. And the same process will happen. So anyway, that's how easy it is to get items from Sketch to a cloud service like iCloud, Google Drive, etc. into Torch to begin using to prototype an AR add-on to your mobile app. All right, that's all we have for today. I hope that was helpful. If it wasn't, let us know in the comments what you need. Otherwise, email us at support at torch3d.com. That's support at torch3d.com, and we can help you out there. So as we keep making these tutorials, we're probably going to be putting out more video content. So stay tuned, subscribe to Torch if you haven't, and also check us out on Twitter, check us out on Instagram, check us out with the hashtag BuiltWithTorch. We're going to be all over the place. This thing's blowing up. Remember, we're all 3D designers now. See you later.